Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Ni Amir Fifi bin Kamal Zaman, and I'm going to in to present the introduction of the Brighton Cycle. Uh, based on our project, we use chapter two topic, uh, which is gas turbine, on the subtopic of Brighton Cycle. Our objective is to understand what is Brighton Cycle and how to calculate using the Brighton Cycle. As we know, Brayton cycle is thermodynamic cycle named after George Brayton that described the working of constant pressure heat engine. There are two types of Brayton cycles are open to the atmosphere and use, using internal combustion chamber or closed and using a heat exchanger. Although the cycle is usually run as an open, it is conventionally Assume for the purpose of thermodynamic analysis that exhaust gas are reused in the intake enabling analysis is a closed system. A closed Brayton cycle recirculates the working fluid. The air expelled from the, the turbine is reintroduced into the compressor. This cycle uses a heat exchanger to heat the working fluid instead of internal combustion chamber. The closed Brayton cycle is used for example in closed cycle gas turbine and space power generation. A Brayton type engine consists of three components. There is compressor, a mixing chamber and an expander. Modern Brayton engines are almost always a turbine type. Although Brayton only made piston engine, Brayton cycle are divided into two parts that is ideal Brayton cycle and actual Brayton cycle. The ideal Brayton cycle have the isotropic process and isobaric process. But for the actual Brayton cycle, it has adiabatic process and isobaric process. Okay, how does a gas turbine in Brayton engine works? Okay, first, the Brayton engine ambient air is drawn into a piston comp compressor where it, is, where it is compressed. The temperature and the pressure are raised ideally as an isotropic process. The compressed air then runs through a missing chamber where fuel is burned at a constant pressure, ideally as an isobaric process. Next, the pressurized air and fuel mixture is then ignited the expansion cylinder and energy is released, causing the heat, air and combustion product to expand through a piston or cylinder and the ideally isentropic process. Okay. Some of the work extract by the piston or cylinder is used to drive the compressor through a crankshaft and arrangement. Okay, that, that's for that's all for the Interaction of the Brayton cycle. Thank you. Okay, hello. Today I will uh, explain about uh, question one of Brayton cycle. An aircraft engine operate on a simple ideal Brayton cycle with a pressure of 10. Heat is added to the cycle at a rate of 500 kilowatt. Air passes the air passes through the engine at a rate of 1 kg per second and the air at the beginning of the compression is at 70 kPa and 0 degree Celsius. Determine the power produced by this engine for the thermal efficiency. Okay, so the not is use constant specific at room temperature. So, if you saw constant specific, we must find T. Okay, so on the question is already tell the PR is 10. Okay, so the Q dot in is 500 kilowatt and the mass flow rate is 1 kilogram per second. Okay, so here is the initial. Okay, first we need to draw the diagram. PH diagram. TS diagram. Sorry. Okay, so the TS diagram is is a basic Q. Here is a Q in. This is Q out, and this is a Q in. Okay, so this is one. 
So the answer is 527.1 Kelvin Okay, so next we find the Q in Okay, okay so the Q in Equals to Q dot in over M dot So from uh, the value of Q in M dot is given in the question Which is 500 kilowatt and 1 kilogram per second So just enter the value and then we get 500 kilojoule per kilogram. Okay, that's all. Um, in order to find Q in, the formula is uh, Cp T3 minus T2. Since T3 is our unknown, uh, we need to calculate the value for T3. So we bring T3 forward. So in the end, the equation will be like this because the main thing is to find the T3. So we key in the value for T2 which is 527.1K. For the Q in, is 500 kilojoule per kg the CP we get from the steam table The final answer is one zero two five Kelvin. Okay. the T, T3 uh, there is another unknown that we need to find which is T4 so uh, the formula for to find T4 is T4 equals to T3 bracket 1 over RP close bracket K minus 1 over K okay <clears throat> um, earlier on we have calculated the value for T3 T3 and we just key in the value because um, for the T4 this is a direct equation so just key in the respective value and calculate
Alright, uh, the final answer for T4 is 530.9 Kelvin. So after we have calculated the value for T3 and T4, the next thing is we need to find the WT and the WC. Okay, um, the formula for WT is CP bracket T3 minus T4. For the WC, CP bracket T2 minus T1 close bracket. Alright. The value for CP. So, for the final answer for WC, we get 255.37. Kilo, sorry, kilo joule per kg. So, um, since we have calculated all the necessary uh, value in order to find power produced and thermal efficiency, um, the formula for power produced is W dot net equals to M dot bracket WT minus WC. We simply insert the value for this item. So for the M dot is 1, WT is this one, and the WC is this one. So the final answer for power produce is And for the thermal efficiency, the final answer is 0 0.4824. 0 0.4824. Yeah. So we have solved the First um, question, power produced by this engine and also the thermal efficiency. Thank you. Okay, hello. Hi, uh, for the first question, air enters compressor of a gas turbine engine at 300 Kelvin and 100 kPa, where it is compressed to 700 kPa and 580 Kelvin. Okay, heat is transferred to air in the amount of 950 kJ per kg before it enters the turbine. Okay, for a turbine efficiency of 86%, okay, we need to determine the fraction of the turbine work output used to drive the compressor and the thermal efficiency. Assume variable specific heat for air. Okay, uh, from the question, you get that T1 is equal to 300 Kelvin and T2 is 580 Kelvin. And uh, P1 is 100 kPa and P2 is 700 kPa. For the heat transfer in which is given equals to 950 kJ per kg. And the turbine efficiency is 86%. Okay, before we go through this question, we need to understand the flow of energy. Okay, first, the process flow is it goes to a compressor. After compressor.
person, it will go to a heat exchanger. Heat exchanger Q8. After heat exchanger, it goes to the turbine. And after the turbine, it goes down through the heat exchanger. Okay, this is number one, two, three, four. Repeat cycle. Okay, for the TS diagram, as we see that the first temperature is three hundred. And it goes up to 580. S stands for ideal and for S also stands for the ideal one. Okay, uh, why we call it ideal is because it goes through a polytrope, uh, goes through a iso isotropic process which the S remains the same, the entropy remains the same. Okay, from the TS diagram that we see, we need to find H1, H2, H3, and H4. Okay, for the H1, you can get from the table on which the temperature T1 equals to 300 and the pressure is 100 kPa. Okay, from here we get H1 equals to 300.19. Kilojoule per kg. For H2, from temperature 2, which is 580, and the pressure is 700. The H2 we get from table is 586.5. Kg. Okay, from here we get H2 and H1. To get H3, we need to find Q, uh, the, <coughs> the RP first, which is pressure ratio RP. The RP is equal to P2 over P1, which is 700 over 100 equals to 7 okay the pressure ratio is 7 okay from that we need to derive Q in equals to H2 minus H3 from here we can get H3 okay put it here okay H3 equals to H2 minus Q in, which is <coughs> sorry, H2 plus Q in, which is
Okay. Uh, in order for us to find H4, we first need, need to find the PR3 so that we can find the PR4 and then find H1. Okay. Okay, we 
we already obtain H1, H2, H3, and H4S. Okay? Now, Now we need to find the work for compressor in. WC in is equals to H2 minus H1, which is 586.04 minus 300.19, which is equal to 285.5. And for the WT, W turbine out, the formula, uh, as we can see that we have the efficiency for turbine, so we need to put the efficiency for turbine, which is 86%. Let's just put 0 0.86 0 0.86 times H3 minus H4 0 0.86 1536.04 minus 5.83 Okay, from there we get answer 542.0 kg. Okay, the back ratio is equal to WC in over WT out, which is 285.85 over 542.0 equals to 52%. Next, the support efficiency. Okay, for the support efficiency, we need to get W net out over Q in. In order to get the unit out, we need to uh, make it from WT minus WC, which is equal to two five six point one five. Okay, uh, to get the term of UC, 256.15 over the Q in which is 950 and then we get 37% okay that's the thermal efficiency thermal efficiency power ratio these are the work input and output. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Rosanna Abdurazim. Uh, as conclusion, we managed to solve uh, two questions of Bratton Cycle. 
We also fully understand how Breton cycle works. From what we understand, the smaller the temperature ratio, is the higher the efficiency of the Breton cycle.